Hello aspirants, I hope all of you are doing well and your preparation is on track. Today we are going to start a previous year question analysis series of past 10 year questions of UPSC CSC mains examination. This series will serve two purposes. First, those of you who are preparing for combined geoscientist main examination 2023 will get more exposure to types of questions that UPSC ask as syllabus of both the um, uh, combined geoscientist examination and the mains examination are very similar, right? Also, most of the time it happens that questions asked in the UPSC CSC mains are directly or indirectly asked in the combined geoscientist main examination as well. Secondly, those who are going to give CSC mains with geology as an optional will have a ready-made PYQ analysis series all at one place so that your time and effort can be channelized towards content preparation. So basically there are two papers in geology optional paper having six topics each that means 12 topics in total. We will go through them one by one. Today we will be analyzing questions from the general geology chapter as per the syllabus. So the first topic is the solar system. As you can see there is just one question that has been asked in the main still date about the differentiation between the terrestrial and the Jovian planets. So very clearly UPSC's focus is not on the theoretical portions. You will uh, see as we move ahead, you can uh, clearly observe a trend where UPSC focusing more and more on conceptual topics and interlinkages between them. Having said that, this particular question can be easily answered where you can uh, write the basic uh, difference, uh, basis of differentiation between the planets in your introduction. And then in the body, you can differentiate uh, the terrestrial and the Jovian planets based on their size and mass, composition, density, satellites, atmosphere, and so on. And you can also give a summary at the end as your conclusion, right? Then the next topic is meteorites. Now you need to understand that some, some parts of the general geology and uh, the geochemistry syllabus are same. So when you do meteorite and interior of earth, do them simultaneously for both the topics. As you may see, UPSC has recently started asking questions from this particular topic uh, and uh, starting from the 2018 itself. And you can see that since the last two years, there are no questions from this section. The last question asked was in 2020. Uh, this year, so this year, it becomes very important. Uh, this section, the meteorite section is very important. Also, the nature of the question is more or less similar. Both the times uh, it uh, asked you about the different types of meteorites. So it is clear that you need to know the definition of the meteorite and the types of meteorites. But as I said earlier, UPSC's focus has been shifted to more application and conceptual interlinkages. So while preparing content on meteorites, also focus on how they help to determine the internal composition of the earth and how the age of the earth can be calculated using meteorites. Right. Then the next topic is origin and interior of earth and age of the earth. So most of the questions are directly asked related to different layers of the earth, their properties and different discontinuities that are there inside the earth. So question on the age of the earth are more focused on radioactive methods as they provide you a very definitive evidence. Indirect methods are also asked once in 2019. Um, in 2019, yes, uh, yeah, if you know glacial valve, sedimentation rate, salinity clock, etc. are indirect methods. So here is a pattern that you can observe. In every consecutive year, there will be either two consecutive questions from the internal structure as you can see in 2015, 2016 and um, 2020 and 2022 or two consecutive questions from the age of the earth as you can see from 2013 and 2014 questions, right? So uh, I would say there is a high probability of a question from the age of the earth that might be asked this year. So you should uh, prepare these topics accordingly. Then the next topics are interrelated in nature, volcanoes, uh, volcanic belt, belts, earthquake and seismic zones. So then um, uh, from the volcanic uh, volcanoes portions, questions are mostly uh, based on the volcanic belts around the world. And once there was a question on uh, volcanic relief features. Um, from the earthquake section, there are uh, the questions are very direct, rather direct, uh, which asks you about the causes and the effects of the earthquake. Along with that, uh, that uh, question on magnitude and intensity has al also been asked. Uh, from the nature of the question, it is clear that UPSC asks you some current examples as well. Uh, like you can see, um, uh, you know, in the 2018 question paper, uh, there are uh, que the question asks you to name five countries where the 
threat of volcanic uh, eruptions are highest and also how many plates and geographic areas are associated with ring of fire as is, it is asked in 2021 so these kind of questions have been asked and as turkey earthquake has recently been in, in uh, news there is a high probability that you will get again a question on uh, causes and effect of earthquake right uh, and um, uh, maybe it, it can be interlinked with the turkey earthquake as as well so please do these topics with proper examples look for the countries that are directly affected by the ring of fire then uh, from the seismic zones you need to do uh, what are the criteria for the uh, seismic zonation uh, what uh, purposes they serve and seismic zonation map of india that is being prepared by the gsi right this particular section has been recurringly asked in the combined geoscientist examination as well next topic is island acts um, as i said upsc has started asking questions from the fringe topics like this one uh, and isostasis sea floor spreading etc again so um, for all these topics you need to prepare a basic layout which include their mechanism relief features associated with them tectonic setting example around the world with a neat diagram right that will be sufficient to answer any question that come from these fringe topics having said that there are no question asked from the trenches and mid oceanic uh, mid oceanic regions uh, till date this year it is important as it can be asked by correlating it with the plate tectonics and sea floor spreading which is the favorite area of upsc again so if you see uh, from the continental drifts um, earlier the questions were uh, straight forward about the theory and its limitations but now upsc shifted towards the application of the theory so for example you can see in the 2022 question uh, where application of continental drift theory and plate tectonics theory in paleogeography has been asked so while preparing keep these things in mind also then let's discuss the uh, as i already discussed about the sea floor spreading how to do it this is also a fringe topic so the basic layout would be sufficient to uh, address questions from this area the question from plate tectonics um, uh, this is the most important topic from general geology as every year there is a question you can see uh, if you see it uh, till 2018 questions are uh, very straight forward about types of plate boundaries and features associated with them but from last two years questions are more based on the contemporary events like the plate movement during the tsunami of 2004 earthquake characteristic along the plate, plate boundaries and so on so please focus on mechanism of rift systems around the world different plate boundaries and um, any recent events that has happened owing to the plate motions so these things can be um, uh, keep in mind in while preparing the plate, plate tectonics chapter you can prepare a list of examples of different plate boundaries and also can use them in your answer to make them more dynamic and leverage some extra marks as well right the last one is isostasy as i said uh, this is again a fringe topic and apsc is new area of focus as well so prepare them as i said earlier in our discussion right so i hope this series will be beneficial for your preparation if you want to join the test series uh, for combined geoscientist or for the upsc mains geology optional uh we have excellent combination of sectional as well as full length tests that are specifically curated keeping these past year trends in mind so you can check out this uh, test series on our website and in the links given in the description box below i'll be back with another pyq analysis video very soon see you in the next one